knots and donuts and sound sculpture, which I have at Kudj, um through collaboration with your Sound Reasons and, and Kudj, um, is a way of giving an experience to the audience where they can appreciate the spatial dimensions of sound. Very often we think of sound in terms of rhythm or pitch or, or um, and whatever, and the timbre even, but we don't really um, concentrate on the way that it orientates us in space and it is orientated sounds are orientated around us in space. And so um, using some um, 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 quite specialist um, software which gives me control over a moving sound source in three-dimensional space, I was able with uh, knots and, and donuts to um, create um, a number of geometrical figures from a simple circle going horizontally around the audience to one going vertically around them to figures of eight to having several circles in what's called a, 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 a Borromean knot and, and also to have the end was a, a kind of like a, a donut shape whereby the sounds came up um, along the um, floor and went, came up through the audience in the middle and, and out at the top and, and, uh, uh, edge of the, of the room. The inspiration for Knots and Donuts, um, the sound sculpture, came um, from my research and work in Jamaica, uh, particularly on the sound systems. Um, Jamaica has a very strong, vibrant um, street culture, popular culture, which is, goes back a long way in terms of dub music to the 50s and 60s, which is that music is, uh, we know, very, still very influential today. But perhaps what might not be so well known is the actual um, configure how the Jamaican sound systems on the street actually configure the sound. And that's to say they, um, the, the dance halls or, or bashments are literally on the street, they're always in the open air, the tropical um, climate allows that, um, sometimes in sort of shopping malls or sometimes literally on, on the street. And there you have the classic um, um, setup is three speaker columns. Right, and when I say columns of speakers, I mean massive things the size of you know, a speaker column, literally the size of a bus. <laughs> right, um, and so they have a, a width of several meters, and they also have a very good height to them of, I'd say, about um, say 10 meters, yeah, almost 30 foot in, in, into, into, into the air. And so that is, um, um, and they're constructed with the sub bass and the bass. Uh, and then the middle and the top middle and the tweeters right at the top. So clearly the tweeters are a long way from the ground and that gives immediately a vertical sonic dimension, right? Which is um, 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 unusual because you, you know, usually all the, the speakers are much smaller and they're all bunched together. So you've got a, a frequency um, um, dimension mapped onto height, which is interesting is one interesting thing. And then you've also got, rather than what you'd have conventionally in terms of the two banks of speakers on either side of the, of the stage, you've got um, a, a triangulation of speakers. You've got three of these massive speaker columns. Right? Um, and um, for reasons which I never really found out, um, you, you have two left channels and one right channel in the three. Right? And that's the conventional way of doing it. Okay, so you've got this Basically, you've got a, tr a sort of a three-dimensional sound space in terms of height and in terms of what I call the bowl of sound, where all the audience, the, um, 
um, the, the crowd, as we as we call them, are in in the middle of this. And so, what the the, the Jamaican sound system engineers have have um, I mean taken great pride and, and, and take great trouble in balancing the sound and making it as sweet as possible. That's the word we would use. Um, and also, they they actually exploit the space. The, di the, you know, the, the spatial dimension of the sound experience by having special effects, and this is there's a whole, um, I mean, there's sort of like gunshots or sirens, or each sound has its own repertoire which they made themselves of these sound effects which make that sound system distinctive, right? And they also use with those eff effects the the um, the, the um, spatial dimension in terms of being able to rotate. Around the audience, especially the, by the tweeters, right? The top because this high high frequency sound is more directional than low frequency sound, right? They, they've been able to um, to make these effects literally ro revolve around the audience. Okay, so there really is a sonic sculpture. Right? So what I'm doing is is taking a popular culture source and bringing it into a gallery space. Um, but I always want to recognise where it comes from and to give respect to the sound system engineers who literally over generations have been refining their techniques and, and, and have now achieved a, a kind of depth of understanding of sound, which is well, perhaps second to none. Okay.